The first of Sydney is gone. In the heart of West Africa, Nigeria stands at a crossroad. A nation rich in resources and vibrant in culture, yet plagued by an economic crisis that has pushed its people to the brink. As the sun rises on August 1, 2024, the streets are set to fill with the voices of millions demanding change. With inflation soaring over 40% and basic necessities becoming luxuries, the hope for a brighter future grows dimmer each day. In May 2023, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu promised reforms that will steer the country towards prosperity. No profession is there for fair subsidy. The fair subsidy is gone. Instead, the removal of fuel subsidies has ignited a firestorm of discontent. I couldn't make anything. Yesterday, today, I'm here. And my family are suffering one way or the other. It definitely affects all of my plans. It affects even my health. You know, what, what do I do? From online activism to the streets of Lagos, the movement has taken shape, driven by populists tired of empty promises and rising hardships. The hashtags end bad governance in Nigeria echo through cyberspace, rallying citizens for a day of reckoning. As the government braces for impact, deploying thousands of police and military personnel, stakes have never been higher. Can Nigeria navigate this turbulent path towards a peaceful resolution? Or will the echoes of past tragedies like the 2020 NSAS protest resurface to haunt the nation? This is a story of a nation's struggle for justice, equity and survival. A story of hope amid despair and the relentless quest for a better tomorrow. For several years, Nigeria has been gripped by an unprecedented economic crisis. In an effort to mitigate the situation, President Tinubu has sent representatives to engage in mediation with traditional leaders aiming to dissuade the youth from joining the protests. On his part, Nigerian Inspector General of Police Kayode Egbetokum has come out to dissuade the youths from participating in protests. The of violent protests. We have had series of violent protests in Nigeria. All those places where police stations were burnt down, go and ask them if they want any, any protest. Go and, go and hear them. Let them share their experience with you. All the arms looted from police armories are in the hands of criminals, now terrorizing members of the public. Is that what we want again? As Nigeria braces for another wave of unrest, the world watches closely, hoping for a peaceful resolution to a crisis that has gripped the nation for far too long.